Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a bit of the power that Omu is capable of. Omu is a new hero. Uh, he gets two gold when you complete a level up and it is a pretty powerful effect that uh, tends to take place upon an accelerated level up that tends to need a token or a pirate level up discount start. Now, if you get that, you're going to be able to hit those high tavern tiers before anyone else. And uh, if you get pretty lucky in the tavern tiers, you can pick up a card and level up several turns in a row. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to win. He is one of the better heroes out there. But what it does typically push you towards is an endgame build. Uh, almost kind of like the perfect hero for me because, you know, I, I'd like to do well, but I don't really care if I win. But I really want to play cool endgame builds. I'm not really satisfied just dropping mech refresh. Not really satisfied pulling, like, you know, death rattle beast mid-game comps to get, like, third place. No thank you. I like to just shoot it for the stars all the way to the end and then see what we come up with, if anything. And Omo is exactly that playstyle. And well, you guys are checking out these videos. I imagine a few things have rubbed off from me to you. So if you're one of those people, you're going to like Omo. And this is how you play him. Time, partner. I took a look at the Among Us stuff, but doesn't really look that interesting to me. You're down a minion and up a goal. Minions really pulled their weight. Okay. Game's not that interesting. The kids just like this. Screaming. Overreacting. Oh, yeah. Oh. I guess that's what I shouldn't have given him. This will cost 6 on 8 gold. can level and roll once if I need. Why phrase? The early double war leader is actually pretty good. I think it's a little underrated. Is spawn better than war leader? It is because it's millhouse. Millhouse just floods the board with a bunch of garbage. Oh, he has high attack. Okay, never mind. Okay, in that case it wasn't. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Worst possible red wealth, worst possible attacks. Welcome to Crip Life. Welcome back. How's it going out there? Good RNG on that one though, but going up against number one undefeated guy, yikes. Worst hero has always been Galakrond. Since he was released. No joke. Hundred percent. There was never a worse hero than Galakrond. It's not even close, actually. The original release of Arana was maybe a little close, but the after they buffed both of them, Arana is a good bit better than Galakrond, even though she's second worst. The tree hero power is, uh, in my opinion, objectively better than Bartendotron. Please hit this. Excellent. Okay, we win. Yo 
Hank knows no 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 hanking there, man. up okay minions turn seven combat win rate okay boat is actually a few spots above ding ding brosif that's a pretty good omo run Those are pretty good. Not like the best, but above my expectations. I think I got off pretty easy, I'd say. It is an early enough grubber, but I think we just want to spam Murlocs right now. Okay, what did he have? He did have a thing. His cards are generally pretty good, I would say. Go big or go home, I always say. This turn I'm probably uh, not that strong. Turn 8 is where my ebb starts to peak. And where brandless murlocs start to drop. No brand, no primal fin, no triple. Very low. I didn't do a boys watch party per se. Just did uh, some shoutouts for him. I kept the boat. Yeah, the boat's okay here. It's better than buffing another murloc because we're either going to get Bran or a Malgadon or we're just going to die because we can't really win with, without either of the two. So it's okay to do this. Just cut the slot. That's really bad. Oh. 
Okay. Jesus, the amount of war leaders I've been getting is absolutely insane. I don't know what to do, guys. I... I don't know. I think two health is not worth dropping boat. Millhouse has three murlocs, so no one else is really playing murlocs. I mean, this hero is really powerful if you get like a token start like I did. And I think I, I've mastered the leveling curve. But like, leveling fast is still a bit of a problem if you get jack shit. <laughs> like, it's just need a bit more than nothing. I freeze the double Xeris. This is not the time for that. I'm still gonna win. Yep. And uh, he's probably dead. Yep. He's dead. I haven't really played anything in like at least two turns. And I'm still easily winning and killing people. I don't even understand it. Three people are dead. Okay, seriously now. I need some cards that don't suck. Like really, like I, I need, I need them. Okay, okay. Those cards do not suck. This is good. This is good. We can, we can work with this. Yeah. All right, fine. Let's see what we get here. Fine, we'll go with that. Okay. Still not amazing, but this is uh this is like good enough to keep going and not be dead. Which is which is good. I like not being dead. I should add a six drop for, to the Murloc pool. I mean not all tribes have six drops. Wait, what? Okay, that was actually pretty unlucky, but uh, I think it was pretty close still. Oh no, it wasn't close, it was just straight unlucky. Okay. Essentially only cost 3 gold, I think for 3 gold it's fine, I get an extra dude in the tavern, I can get Amalgadons. You know, these are just possibilities, of course we're never going to get any of them. I, I guess I'll take the brand. Seriously, <laughs> the the roll RNG in this one, like, oh my god! But we, we've certainly proved that this hero is good. Okay, <laughs> we, we've we've done that. All right, this hero is good. Good confirmed. I feel like I've bought three cards in four turns, and I only spent three gold to level during those four turns. Jesus! With the free reroll, what is that? Over ten gold per card. With no one else playing Murlocs. What the hell, dude? Buy brand now? Yeah. I mean... Pirates? Mechs? Uh, Rufam's got some, some weird shit that the stats won't matter much. But, like, the, the other players' stats... Stats are gonna be a, a major part, yeah. Looks like a loss. 
But it could not be. It's possible that it's not a loss. Yeah, it's not a loss. Got it. Winner. Your minions really pulled down. Fortunately, we get Rafam. Quite the army you're building, friend. The poison is okay, but I I need something better if I'm buying Rafam here, right? If I'm buying a uh, brand here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I I cannot make that work. Yeah, I cannot make that work. Just hit a guy for 28. Sell my Exna and Begurgle. And I would be getting the the lookout to do that. So it's like if I don't get if I don't get two good Murlocs, it's worse than this board. Like if I get just one Begurgle, it's worse. Yeah. So no, that that's that's not that's not good. It only really improve if I get a triple with that and I get a high roll amalgadon. Oh my god. Well, I'm not dead. Welcome back. How's it going out there? Hey, a triple. Here's your reward. It's garbage. Guess I'll sell that for this. Sure, let's get some extra gold for this turn. See, yeah, that would that would have been not good there. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Um, okay. Sure. Oh, no. Freezing for brand is not going to work. The chance I get a triple brand is like none. Wasting four gold is one for the freeze, essentially. It's not a good idea here. Okay. That's all right. This guy's not very strong. I have a feeling he's going to die to Rafan. Yep. Work out there. Keep up the pressure. Why not, right? Why not? I have witnessed the true end time. I have witnessed the true end time. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Better hire a recruit while you can. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servos engaged.
Fuck! That was the mouse getting stuck thing. I should have moved that over there. Does he have a cleave? I don't remember. Yeah, when you start stacking stats, the game starts lagging. Is a golden Nadina. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're winning this one. We were rightfully second strongest, though. And let's be honest, that was like one of the shittiest rolls ever. It's just this hero is really strong with some of these endgame builds. Yep. Hit my locks are cool. <laughs> 